plans for 900 new homes and an industrial estate near Swindon have been approved by the planning inspector against the wishes of tens of thousands of residents. The Borough Council rejected the plans for land between Coatwater Country Park and the Great Western Hospital last year. But developer Red Row went to a planning inquiry who overturned that decision. Our Wiltshire reporter Robert Murphy has the story. <laughs> They fear Coatwater Country Park and its wildlife will never be the same again. Plans for these fields nearby have just been approved, despite a campaign by Felicity Cobb, who got 50,000 people to sign against them. It's a real oasis at the moment and it's much treasured and I think our children will not thank us for not fighting strongly enough, quite honestly. The developers originally wanted to build 1,800 homes on these fields, but the council said no. So they came back with a smaller offer, 900 homes here. Again, the council's planning committee said no. So the developers took it to a planning inspector. He's just come back and given the plans the thumbs up. Development that's now being given planning one, which we did successfully defend, and there is now a very large buffer between the country park and the development itself. The developers, Red Rose, said they're extremely pleased to have received planning approval for the site in Swindon. They say Red Rose's new heritage collection of detached family homes would be a real asset to the Swindon area. <laughs> park users have been watching the proposals change in various forms through the years with anger and frustration. Any development over there will impinge on this country park. I think it's uh, atrocious, really. Why is that? Well, Swindon has ex expanded too much anyway. Red Row says it's paying a lot of money to improve the park alongside the development. Coatwater users will only discover if the new estates will really impact here when the buildings go up. Robert Murphy in Swindon for the West Country tonight.